Hello. Continuing our series on power unit elements, today we're going to be talking about the MGUH. So the MGUH, what is it? It's the motor generator unit heat. What does that mean? It's a motor. If you supply it with electrical energy, it will spin. It's a generator. If you spin it, it will supply and create electrical energy. And why heat? It's because it's to do with the turbocharger, the waste heat energy that comes from the exhausts. The drivers are allowed three MGUHs a season. And as with other PU elements, if they need to use more than that, they'll take a grid penalty. In our F1 power unit, the MGUH is part of the turbocharger assembly. You can see it here in between the compressor and the turbine. This is the MGUH here. This whole assembly is then fitted into the centre of the combustion engine, right in the centre of the V. The MGUH interacts with a large number of other parts in the power unit, especially with the turbocharger, which you would imagine as it's situated right in the centre of it here. The MGUH generates its electrical energy using the waste energy from the exhausts, which has been used by the turbine to spin the shaft. And that's what spins the MGUH and creates the electrical energy. Now that electrical energy can be used by the MGUK in order to create more crank power. That energy can go on a number of different paths. It could go from the MGUH into the battery to be stored for later use, or it could go directly from the MGUH to the MGUK to increase our crank power. The MGUH is an area in the regulations which isn't heavily tied down. The MGUH can only be a minimum of four kilograms, but in terms of the energy and the power that it's allowed to have, that's quite free in the regulations to encourage us to use it well to make sure that the power unit is efficient. The MGUH itself is efficient as both a motor and a generator, but there is a small amount of waste heat. We use Petronas Sintium oil to cool the MGUH and make sure that the temperatures are always under control. I've explained a little bit of how the MGUH is used as a generator. You may be asking, when does it get used as a motor? And the answer to that is in solving the problem of turbo lag. As the power unit comes out of a corner, the driver doesn't want to feel a lag between when he puts his foot on the accelerator and when the power unit starts to supply the power. Something described as turbo lag if it's because the turbo isn't spinning up quickly enough to create the boost that's required to make the engine work. And that's where the MGU comes in as a motor. It spins the turbocharger, even if there isn't enough energy coming from the exhaust gas at the right time to make sure that the PU is spot on in delivering its torque. This type of electric turbocharger is not yet common in road cars, but what we have learned from Formula One is that they can be used very effectively to increase the brake thermal efficiency and therefore improve your sustainability. For those reasons, it is beginning to cross over to road cars and we've had some great conversations with AMG who are starting to consider this type of technology. So as we know from AMG, because of the sustainability that this sort of technology can provide, there is going to be a move to seeing these on more cars near you soon. So there I've given you a breakdown of the MGUH, how it works and what it does. In the next episode, we'll talk about the other MGU on the F1 power unit, the MGUK.